I'm Marcus Reynolds, BrassLessonsForYou.com and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for purchasing a Stratus embouchure system. To begin with, the aim of achieving a better embouchure, take your mouthpiece and buzz through it. What should happen is the air you are buzzing through the mouthpiece should flow through the centre of the shank of the mouthpiece. In many cases, with amateur and professional alike, this is not necessarily the case. And you will not be aware that the air is in actual fact being directed by your lips into the bottom of the mouthpiece, reducing the power and effectiveness of the air produced, thus making it more difficult to reach the pure note you seek, especially when you are playing notes in the higher register. If your teeth are not aligned as you play, the air you produce will be directed downwards, hitting the bottom of the cup of the mouthpiece. Check out Philip Farkas, The Art of Brass Playing. Donald Reinhardt, it's not just me saying this. This is not the ideal airflow direction, and it will limit the quality of the sound and volume achievable. To demonstrate this, place your hand in front of your lips, and with your lips in a whistling state, blow into the palm of your hand. Some people may not be able to whistle, just copy the shape. And the air, using the natural physiology of the body, will be about in this area. Don't lift your head up, just below the horizon. And you'll feel the air in that area. Now do the same thing, but instead of blowing, buzz as if you were blowing or playing into your instrument. The likelihood is that you will not feel the air hitting the same place of your hand and is now much lower down the palm of your hand. Or even gone altogether and you cannot tell where the air is going. Many of my students when I show this exercise end up doing this. Blow you up and feel it now. But what's happened is this. Because it's a temporary high note. You can start the beginning of a higher register, but you end up directing the air downwards. There are numerous examples of how players have developed their embouchure. Whether you are playing your instrument the conventional method with the mouthpiece, one third on your upper lip and two thirds on the bottom lip. That is called the conventional method. The upstream method, as you can see the top of the mouthpiece is placed higher on the upper lip Whereas the downstream method, the bottom of the mouthpiece is just below the lower lip. If it works for you, no method is wrong. To get the airflow back to a position where the flow and pressure is directed into the centre of your mouthpiece, maximising the effectiveness of your effort, we now introduce the Stratus Ombre System. However, if this has not been the norm for you while learning or playing regularly in your adopted posture, the chances are that your embouchure and muscle memory will be locked into a playing position, preventing you achieving a richer, more sonorous tone, urging you to pull the instrument even harder onto your lips when reaching for notes in the higher register. This will, as you may well have seen in other players, to have hard spots on their upper lips and angry ring marks visible around their lips. Over many years of my teaching students and helping professionals with their embouchure development and correction, I designed the Stratus Embouchure Training Aid, which has proven to be an essential attachment in aiding your correct embouchure development and muscle memory. The prime function of Stratus is to enable you to position your jaw and teeth correctly allowing you to position your lips onto the mouthpiece with less pressure and maximum air power with minimal effort and maximum results. To encourage you to adopt a superior and effective comfortable embouchure I designed Stratus specifically to unlock your muscle memory 
and help develop a new muscular scaffold replacing the push and pressure trap. Once you wean yourself away from the lips versus increased weight scenario, who knows what musicianship may emerge. Now look who is being asked to play the solos. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this helps. Marcus Reynolds, BrassLessonsForYou.com